Often I like to take a look at obscure games on my channel. Games like Deadfall Adventures, Jericho, Enemy Front, the list goes on. But all of those games at least have maybe, I don't know, four to six plus reviews on YouTube, as well as numerous other gameplay footage or even Let's Plays that people have uploaded throughout time. But the game I'm looking at today called NRA Gun Club has so few videos on YouTube, maybe two reviews, some gameplay videos, and for God knows what reason, I guess people have streamed this. Regardless, I don't think I've come across another game that has so little YouTube videos on it. That alone kind of piqued my interest with this game. It was released back in 2006 only for the PlayStation 2. It did not have an official release outside of the US, except for it being released in Italy of all countries. I guess it was also supposed to be released in Germany, but for unknown reasons it was cancelled. Before the game even started, I noticed that this was developed by Jarhead, a company that, yes, I'm unfortunately familiar with. If you've seen my thrift store game hunting videos, two of their games have popped up in the past those being the Elite Forces games, known for being some of the worst shooters of all time. Then I noticed, oh, this was published by Crave Entertainment? That's kind of weird. They've published some games that I actually really like. Fighting Force, Kengo, Master of Bushido, Evergrace, Eternal Ring, and a few others. But then Crave has also been one of those hit or miss publishers, actually more misses than anything, especially around the time NRA Gun Club came out. They had been on a downhill spiral of publishing nothing but trash or, or budget games that really no one gave a damn about. So when I started up the game, I thought my disc was messed up or maybe the PlayStation 3 was having weird problems with the backwards compatibility because when I got to the main menu there was no sound at all no sound effects no music no nothing even going through other menus selecting the gun game modes and events nothing was going on and I was so confused by that there is virtually no sound in this game at all un until you actually start playing. And you know what the very first thing you hear is? <coughs> A horn. Yeah, and you're going to be hearing this damn thing all the time, by the way. You know what else you're going to hear all the time? The voice actor that they paid with a $25 Taco Bell gift card recite the same few lines over and over and over again. It gets old painfully quickly. After the second or third match, you're going to want to mute the sound, which is exactly what I ended up doing when I played this. Bull! Deep hit! Smoked it! Nice. Ooh, nice. Throw. Ooh, nice. Deep hit. Throw. I am jumping ahead a little, but that's because the game doesn't have a story or a campaign or really a whole lot going on with it in general. In order to unlock different firearms, events, and modes, you have to play through certification mode. It's target practice with different firearms. That's the game in a nutshell in general, but with certification mode, you are given a fairly easy score to achieve in order to pass and progress throughout the game. Obviously, the more you progress, the more you unlock but the core of the game never changes at all. Basically, once you play the first event or two, you've pretty much played the entire game. There are a few other tasks that you come across, like skeet shooting, long-range shooting with a scope, 
or that horrible obstacle course that uses the lowest form of a rail shooter mechanic. Shoot a couple red targets, avoid the white, move on to the next group, rinse, recycle, repeat. Yeah, there are some bonus minigames, but much like the actual gameplay, there's not a whole lot to say about it. Let's see, there's darts, which is boring as all piss, bowling with a gun, then there's clay pigeon toss, and target practice. I don't even know why these were included in the first place. They're completely nothing. The graphics are terrible in every single aspect possible. It is ugly. Visually, it's a mess of muddy colors and crap textures. The physics are flat out wacky. I mean, look at the cans when I shoot them. It's like ragdoll moon physics or something. It makes no sense. It's not appealing to look at this game whatsoever. And think about it. This is a PS2 game from 2006. It's the same system that has titles like Killzone, Black, Project Snowblind. All of these games came out before Gun Club, in some cases years before. There was no attempt put into the visuals to make this game even on the levels of being mediocre. To sum it up in a few words, the game looks like shit. You can tell they didn't put any effort into the game because of the target reticule not even being right. The lines don't match up at all on any of the reticules in the game. I can't imagine this was even done intentionally either, yet at the same time, I don't understand how someone in development could mess this up. This seems like such an easy thing to do right, yet I guess it was still too hard for them. Also, my god, this is one of the most repetitive games I have ever played. Even if you unlock more guns, it doesn't matter because there's really nothing different between one firearm over another. It's not like power matters because you're just shooting at targets. Recoil doesn't change. Hell, most of the guns sound exactly the same. The only two differences between one gun over another is how they look and how many rounds each mag will hold. Yeah, there's a hundred guns or whatever, but it doesn't matter because they're all exactly the same. And God help you if you play any event that has a shotgun or a rifle where you have to reload each round individually. It's like the character model is loading the guns at half speed. I could go to the bathroom and dump my ass by the time the guy finishes reloading. It's funny to me how people can call something like Call of Duty, Madden, or even Dynasty Warriors as overly repetitive video games. Maybe they are to an extent fine, but Gun Club is on a completely different league of repetition. You know what I also think is funny? The fact that outside of the rifle's scope, you cannot aim down the sights. May I ask why? This is a gun range simulator at the end of the day. At least, that's what I think it's supposed to be. And you cannot aim down the sights. It's like playing a racing game where you can't hit the brakes. Or a fighting game where you can't do any variation of a block. It doesn't make any sense. It, it doesn't work. The game is not broken. Technically, everything works. It's sluggish as hell and the controls are awkward, but it still works. Then again, I almost wish it didn't. I wish this game was actually a broken, rolling dumpster fire of a mess because at least it would have been entertaining in some way. Gun Club is not entertaining. It's nothing like shooting at a gun range at all, which I understand would be probably impossible to simulate in a video game. But it's not even like they tried here. It's complete devoid of any substance at all. I don't even understand who it's supposed to appeal to. Who could possibly like this? Or who would ever willingly want to play more than an hour of this without being intoxicated in some way. It's entirely pointless, and everyone involved in this game 
should be embarrassed, including the NRA who allegedly put their stamp of approval on this dog shit of a game. Don't play this. There's no point. I've played some of the dirt worst games, Ninja Bread Man, Rock and Roll Adventures, that awful Walking Dead FPS, Rogue Warrior, Ride to Hell, Damnation, Mindjack, a bunch of just god-awful games. All of those games I would rather play than Gun Club any day of the week. As awful as they can be, they at least had a point or a reason to exist even if it was to make fun of how bad the games were. Gun Club is not that. In fact, it's a soulless, boring, unfinished, valueless game that literally has zero reason to exist at all. That honestly very well could be why there is little to no documentation on this game on YouTube, or really anywhere else for that matter but maybe it's for the better. All I know is I'll never touch this game again. And honestly, you shouldn't either. What do you say, Toby? The truth. Looks like shit. That's why I love children, no guile. <laughs> it does look like shit.